And then, Mr. Chairman, if I could, to, to, I understood from your earlier testimony that, and I want to make sure I understood this correctly, that 60% of your samples, your all, all your samples come back with traces of marijuana. Is, is that correct? Yes, the screening process, originally we'll screen and then run a confirmation test secondary after that. Uh, the screening process has come back a roughly, last time I checked, I have to go double check numbers, obviously, to be more accurate, but it was roughly 60% was THC positive going on for a confirmation test. That may not necessarily show up on a report, but that 60% that tested positive goes for a confirmation test. At that point, it may or may not be there depending on cutoff levels. So 60% of reports may not show that, but 60% of the testing is then being geared toward that, yes. Okay. So, just so I understand, sure. and not to be overly tedious, but 60%, as I gather, 60% of the, the uh, samples may show traces of, uh, some traces of marijuana, but those results are not reflected on every report. Is that correct? Correct, yes. And, and what is the determination on whether or not that trace of marijuana is reported? Is there a law or regulation on that? I, I just don't know. Uh, it's currently based on our ability to see instrument-wise, instrumentation-wise, how low we can see each compound. Uh, for Delta 9 THC, that would be 2 nanograms per milliliter. That's about to change and go down to 1. Um, that's over my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's way over my head. Uh, Basically, what it is is that there's a limit of detection. How yes. how how low can we see marijuana and be or THC and and be confident that that is THC that it's not so low that okay it looks like THC is there. No, we want we we need a level of THC that says bang it's there. Okay. And they don't all they may. F the, the screen is sensitive, and it may say, hey, it looks like you've got THC, but when you go to confirm it, eh, it's there, but it's not strong enough. Is that something that's, that, that you have to specifically look for, or does that just come up whenever you run the sample? I mean, is that something you have to set in a machine to say, tell me? It's, it's part of the process um, for the screening part. It, we screen for this whole series of drugs, and then based on that, we go forward with okay. the confirmations. Right. So if it did not screen positive for, for THC, we would not test it for THC. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.